Hey, so I wanted to shoot a quick video to remind you what we are setting our aux outputs on our Blackmagic ATM 1ME Production Studio 4K. That's a mouthful, but here we go. So there's a little chart that um, sits on top of the Mac Mini here. And uh, this chart will show you on the left what we need to set our aux outputs to. Now the right shows us what our program outputs are set to. You don't have to worry about these because these are already set and um, can't be changed without manually unplugging a cable from the back and plugging it into a different port. But these are assignable. So as you can see, aux one is always set to whatever the ProPresenter input is. And right now that's input five, uh, aux two, is always set to program or PGM. Uh, aux 3 is always set to input 10. And so what that means is you hit aux 1 and then you will want to set it to 5. Okay, and you can see it shows up on the screen. This is our purpose center input. All right, and so that actually is what goes to our main projector. Okay, so that's the aux output to our main projector. So our main projector is always just showing ProPresenter. Aux 2 is going to be uh, the feed that we send to our broadcast audio room. So we set that to program. So whatever you're doing in the program window as you're mixing cameras, that's what our audio tech in the backstage uh, uh, live audio broadcast room sees. And then aux 3 is kind of weird. Aux 3 is actually set to input 10. Input 10 is what our JVC uh, camera runs into. Uh, it runs into input 10, and then we use our third aux to output that camera signal to uh, input 1. And then uh, input 1 is actually what, you know, that's our input 1 is is camera one and the reason why we kind of do that weird little loop around is because we're trying to slow down that camera that camera's a little that camera's a little too fast and so we're trying to slow it down so it matches our gh4s which are these small um photography cameras that we use for video so it's just kind of weird you don't really need to know that but that's why we're using aux 3 to assign input 10. so if you assign those three inputs you'll be golden um, in the future, those could change, uh, specifically uh, on for auxiliary one, where where that ProPresenter input is applied could change. In the future, it may be, you know, six, seven, eight, who knows. But right now, uh, as of this recording, it's, it's input five. And you can always check this, and it will give you the most up-to-date um, schematic to use. Thanks, guys.